Hi Little Lobos, Mr. Jonas here today at uh, Sequoia National Park. It's a very beautiful area for you to come and enjoy your day with your family. Just make sure to bring water, your camera, and the sunscreen if you come during the day because it will get hot. Today the weather is 98 degrees and I am here at 5.30 p.m. So remember, bring water so you can stay hydrated. This is the drive to the mountains. You have to drive very careful, parents. Please, please drive very careful. Speed limit says 25, I believe. Okay, it has certain sections where you can pull over and you can uh, take pictures or you can rest leave your vehicle there and you can go down a hike or you can go down the mountain and you will be able to see the river uh, going through so here we go we are driving as you can see on the left hand side are the mountains and you can see how the uh, rain has um, has shaped those uh, the rocks in the mountains all those cuts on the rocks in the mountains are due to the rain so here we are very carefully we will be driving around okay If you are a person who gets car sick, I recommend you bring in a bag in case you need to uh, vomit. Okay, oh, there are sites where you can pull over and you can, um, like for instance here, you can pull over and if you have to vomit, you're gonna have to vomit. If you can see on this side of the, there is uh, area called Tunnel Rock. It looks very beautiful. It's a big rock as you can see. Let's go check it out. Hi Little Lobos, Mr. Jonas here. Uh, today is Sunday, June 21st and it's Father's Day so happy Father's Day to everybody. I'm here at the Sequoia National Park and here at the Tunnel Rock. So if you uh, we're gonna go inside in a minute and see uh, what's going on. Hola, Little Lobos. My name is Mr. Jonas. I'm here in Sequoia National Park. And I'm here in the Tunnel of the Rock. So we're going to see how it's going on this side. As you can see, this is called the Tunnel Rock because there's a big rock up here. And you can see the tunnel. You can go to the, uh, under the rock. It's very, very good. Si usted puede mirar, este, esta área se llama el túnel de la roca, porque hay una roca acá arriba, y es un túnel, so usted puede caminar hacia adentro de la roca. Okay? Y pueden mirar, as you can see how the structure of the rock is, how it's been held um, together. Pueden mirar cómo está, um, cómo la roca está deteniendo la roca grande. Ok? So, vamos a seguir caminando y vamos a ver qué encontramos allá. Alright, little robots, let's go this way and see what's up here, okay? Lobitos, vamos a ver qué hay acá adentro. Vamos a seguir caminando, ok? Si ustedes tienen la oportunidad de venir con sus padres, tengan mucho cuidado. Asegúrense que traigan sus zapatos para poder escalar las montañas, ok? If you do decide to come with your parents, just make sure you have a adequate shoes so you are able to hike to go up the mountain, ok? This is the stairway up to the rock that under the bridge. So make sure you're careful. Can you guys see a spotted lizard? There goes the lizard. It's very fast. No, 
as you can see here is the uh, sign that says caution climbing on top of tunnel rock is hazardous so tengan cuidado cuando vengan um, si se van a subir a la montaña ok uh, vamos a mirar para este lado let's go check and see what's on this side All these are trails that will take you to different areas uh, around the mountain, okay? So, let's go up the mountain now. Uh, up the, excuse me, let's go up the rock. And as you can see, this is the, uh, we are on top of the rock and you can see the, the uh, highway on that side and on this side. All the road is very uh, curvy, so be careful when you come. Okay, cut it loose. Little Lobitos, uh, Mr. Jonas here again. Just wanted to keep you updated to where I've been. So I've been driving around up the hill, up the mountain. And as you can see, we are very high in altitude. Uh, Lobitos, Mr. Jonas otra vez y este, he estado manejando por, por toda la montaña hacia arriba para llegar hasta arriba de la montaña y este, puede mirar en este lado todos los árboles to, uh, que hay en este lado you can see all the trees on this side of the mountain and um, I can show you a closer look so you guys can see how high we've been up, how high I've been driving You can see these are all the mountains around and there's still more mountains okay we're gonna be going up that way we are still driving and it's gonna be a long drive so I'll um, keep you updated to see where I'm um, where I make it we're gonna see if we can make it up to that side okay we are continuar manejando y este les voy a mostrar uh, más adelante uh, otra ruta donde he estado y este vamos a tratar de llegar allá arriba a la montaña okay. y si no pues a ver hasta dónde nos lleva el camino ok los mantendré informados all right lobos we are going we're going to continue driving to see um, where this road takes us, okay? So remember, if you do come with your parents, please uh, make sure they are driving carefully. There are a lot of vehicles uh, going both ways. So just be careful. It's a very curvy road and the speed limit's 25 miles per hour, okay? Nature is very beautiful. Everything uh, is green around. A lot of vegetation. La naturaleza es muy hermosa. Uh, hay muchos árboles verdes. Hay mucha vegetación. Especialmente cuando llueve uh, muchísimo. Okay. Recuerden, si uh, vienen para este lado, por favor, manejen con mucho cuidado. La velocidad uh, en esta área es 25 millas por hora. Uh, el camino está uh, muy curioso. Ok. Hay mucho tráfico uh, que van para ambos lados. The elevation is 4,000 feet. La uh, elevación son 4,000 pies de altura. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the uh, video. I will continue recording uh, in a little, uh, little bit later, okay? Uh, voy a dejar de grabar en este momento y uh, continuaré grabando más, uh, más tarde, okay? Uh, solamente es para mostrarles el camino y uh, las cosas que hay alrededor, okay?
Okay, so más, más tarde uh, estaré en otro video. Hi there, Lobos. Uh, I'm right here at top of the mountain. I haven't reached the very top yet, but I am. Um, I've been doing a lot of driving, and as you can see on this side over here, we have. Uh, you can see the road that we've been driving around. That mountain right there is called Moro Rock. Okay, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to drive all the way up there on the side, but that's the Moro Rock. And then on this side over here, of the that side right there, that rock is called um, Castle Rock on that side over there. And then, um, <clears throat> Yeah, that, that's how much we've been doing a lot of driving. Um, here is um, a picture of the area. Okay, and as you can see, if you do decide to come up here, this is the animals that you will be seeing on this side uh, by Alpine Animals. Uh, we have um, gray crow uh, rose finch, we have a pika, and then we have a mountain yellow legged frog. We have a white headed woodpecker. A pine marten, a mountain king snake. It's not venomous. A California quail, a western rattlesnake. Now that one is venomous. And then we also have a gray fox. Okay, so <clears throat> we are gonna be trying to make it all the way up there. Okay, so uh, little lobos hasta acá estoy sigo uh, continuo manejando y esta es la área donde he estado. Okay, esa montaña de allá se llama uh, la piedra del castillo. Y la, piedra, y la piedra que está acá arriba, esta piedra se llama es, uh, Moro Rock. Ok, y estamos, estamos en el... Uh, estoy a vamos a seguir continuando manejando. So, espero este, les esté gustando la aventura. Y este, uh, vamos a seguir manejando, ok? Más tarde sigo gra grabando. Alright, little lobos, we are coming up, the, up further up. I have entered already the giant forest, I believe it's called. So we are going to start seeing uh, big trees, big trees uh, around us, okay? Uh, trees with uh, big trunks, the circumference means uh, or the whole around of the tree. So you will be amazed by the trees that we see, okay? Lobitos, ya estamos entrando a un área donde hay más árboles grandes. Uh, a los troncos de los árboles más uh, grandes de los normales que tenemos en casa uh, pueden mirar uh, pueden mirar que hay árboles más grandes con los troncos más más grandes uh, más redondos uh, por ejemplo como ese árbol de aquí el tronco del árbol está muy grande okay. y así están los árboles this is a big tree this sequoia tree up there so trees are more bigger and size trunks okay so let's continue driving and see where else this road will take us the drive is very beautiful um, every like I said before everything's super green uh, we have more trees right here with the big trunks. They look so beautiful. Okay, los árboles están grandes con un tronco muy, muy grande. Let's put it over to the side and see what we can find. Okay. So, as we can see, we everything around here is green. Trees are super tall. Los árboles están bien altos. Los puedes mirar. Ahí en medio está un árbol y tiene el tronco muy uh, grueso. As you can see there, we have a tree and the trunk is very, very thick, very wide. Okay, and the trees are super tall. All right, little lobos. Um, I made a quick stop going up the mountain, but as so I can show you the trees on this side. As you can see, the trees are very, 
very big, okay? And they're very, very tall as well, okay? And as you can see on this side over here, this side over here, our trees are have been um, taken down. They have fallen, so you can see how big the roots are, how big the bottom of the tree is, okay? So, uh, aquí puede ver, mirar los vistos uh, el árbol. Los árboles están muy altos, están muy gruesos. También en uh, de, del tronco hacia arriba, el árbol es muy grueso. Y luego aquí en este lado podemos mirar las raíces de los árboles um, que están muy grandes. Este árbol lo, lo tumbaron, pero podemos mirar uh, la base del árbol es muy grande. So, uh, así es como están los árboles de abajo, ¿ok? All right, little lobos, I made another stop, and right now I am uh, near the river. Um, we're gonna go down there in a minute. I'm uh, just gonna show you around a little bit. Um, there's the warning sign about uh, brown bears, uh, I mean, excuse me, black bears. So if you, did, if you decide to come over here, you do need to be very careful. Uh, bears can be active during the day or the night, so be very careful, okay? Uh, estoy aquí al lado de la, uh, de la corriente de agua que está acá abajo alrededor uh, pueden mirar todos los árboles hay un letrero que dice uh, que uh, tengan cuidado con los osos uh, negros porque los osos negros pueden estar activos de día y de noche so vamos a caminar para acá para mirar la cascada let's walk over here to the side so we can see the river okay so be very careful remember to watch for out for snakes okay they can be rattlesnakes or king snakes so we do need to be very careful when you come down this way, okay? We can see the trees that have been um, cut down already, okay? So be very careful when you do come. Okay, as you can see, there goes the river. The river is floating. There's a lot of beautiful rocks on that side. Okay, and then the river goes that way. I'm not gonna go down there because I don't wanna fall down into the water. But if you do decide to come, be careful. Make sure that you have uh, safety equipment to be down here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and continue driving, see where else I, can, uh, I might stop, and I'll, be, I'll make sure to make another video, okay? For now, I'll see you later. Uh, por mientras voy a continuar manejando, Voy a ver hasta dónde más puedo llegar en, el, en la carretera, hasta dónde más me lleva. Y por ahorita es todo y seguiré uh, grabando más tarde. All right, little lobos, I did forgot to mention uh, the trees. I get to tell you a little bit about the tree. Uh, this tree is very uh, big. It's looked like it's been cut down by a chainsaw. Uh, but one important thing about the trees are that uh, trees have rings around them. Okay, and each ring is is uh, means how old the tree is. So this one has a lot of rings. So this tree is very very old. Okay, probably more than a more than 50 years old. Okay, so that's one thing about the trees. The trees will tell you the rings on the trees will tell you how old the, the tree is. Okay, little lobos, este se me olvidó mencionarles que acerca del árbol, los este árbol ha sido cortado con una con una motosierra con un cerrucho grande uh, pero el árbol nos puede decir qué tan, uh, cuántos años tiene el árbol por los anillos del árbol ok so, cada anillo cada anillo aquí en el árbol este, uh, uh, es un año del, ar, del árbol uh, podemos mirar que tiene muchísimos uh, anillos ok este árbol puede que sea más de 50 años de, uh, de viejo all right, little boys, I'm back with uh, more videos. As you can see on this side over here, we do have the, the currents going that way, the river. So it's very um, important if you come not to go below the rocks on that side because it gets very slippery and you can fall into the currents, into the river, and you can have an accident. So please stay away from the rocks on that side. But you can see there are a lot of rocks around and it's a very nice place to uh, take pictures, okay? So, aquí usted puede mirar que hay una, la corriente uh, sigue corriendo para abajo. 
es muy importante si vienen para acá que no um, se bajen hacia abajo porque se pueden resbalar y pueden caer en el agua. So, uh, si vienen tengan mucho cuidado, esta área de la, de la naturaleza es muy hermosa y puede tomar muchas fotos. Okay? Hi little lobos, as you can see, when you drive by, you, you'll be able to see wildlife. And right there we can see that we have a deer. Okay, it looks like deer is coming towards me. So, um, this one looks like it's a baby one. Um, maybe not a baby one, but um, seems like it's looking around the car to see what they want to eat. So, como pueden mirar, little lobos, Aquí, este, um, cuando van manejando por esta área, pueden mirar este, la, animales. Uh, y ahorita miramos un venado. Ok, so tengan cuidado cuando vengan por este lado. Uh, redu uh, manejen con cuidado para, para que no vayan a atropellar a los, a los venados o otros animales que salgan um, de este lado. Ok, so vamos a mirar por este lado. Y allí está el venado, mire. All right, Lobos, this is another stop on this side of the, mount, uh, the road, of the mountain. We can see that all this over here is Kings Canyon. Okay, we've been driving for uh, maybe about two hours already since we started from the bottom. We've been going up like for at least two hours. And that's including all the stops that we've been making, okay? Lobitos, si podemos mirar en este lado, está el cañón uh, que se llama Kings Canyon. Y este, uh, es una de las, las paradas que hemos hecho ahorita. Uh, ya tenemos manejando como dos horas de camino, incluyendo la, el tiempo de las paradas. Uh, pero para allá está el Kings Canyon. Uh, vamos a seguir manejando para este lado, continuando el camino, a ver hasta dónde nos lleva. Uh, quizás este sea uno de los últimos videos, pero vamos a ver, ¿ok? Alright, little lobos, uh, we have come to the end of the road. Um, after driving like for two, two and a half hours, we finally made it to the end of the road. So if we go um, to my right, we're gonna be going towards Fresno. If we go east, we'll be going down towards um, Kings Canyon. Okay, so this is the end. This is the last video we're gonna be recording. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, little lobos, ese es el final del camino. Ya uh, terminamos uh, el camino. Y si le doy para la derecha, para mi derecha, vamos a irnos para Fresno. Y si manejamos para este lado, vamos a irnos para el este. Y allá es para llegar a Kings Canyon y a, a Cedar Grove y a Grand Grove, ¿ok? Espero hayan disfrutado de este uh, pasaje y que tengan buenas uh, tardes. Adiós.